Hello everyone. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. I'm Pamela Pick. So let me see if I can get this pulled up on Facebook right now. It is January 6th, 2003. Isn't that awesome? Just one second. I'm trying to see if I can get it to go live. Or maybe it has gone live. So how's everyone doing? I have got a fun card. I'm almost there. <clears throat> I'm just trying to get the camera. Am I in camera? I can't tell. Okay, I hope I didn't make y'all sick by flipping it around, but I think, is that working in my life? Okay, on the camera it says I'm, or on the phone it says I'm live, but on the, on the Facebook it doesn't show. Okay, so today is our Piccadilly Parfait. And I hadn't been doing them for um, some time just because of the holidays. I took a little time off, but that means today's the day that I can open the new catalog. And we're going to be using some stuff from the new catalog today. I do want to let you know if you do not have a demonstrator and you'd like me to be your demonstrator, I'd be more than happy to provide you with a, a catalog. And right now is the beginning of our celebration promotion. This is our biggest sale of the year. There's papers. There is um, all sorts of goodies going on in this catalog. So today we're going to be using this beautiful set. It's the Country Lane Floral DSP here. And the bundle is called the Country Bouquet Bundle. It is a punch book. Actually, let me turn the page. And there you can see it's got a beautiful punch that goes with it and we're going to be using that today and I'm going to show you a little trick with that and I have added that's on page 10 of the new mini and then on page 17 have to show you this set of dies this set of dies is amazing it is called something fancy which it has some very you guys know how much I love it when they have a font and then text and they mix that in again but these are layering dies I love layering dies so let's get started on the demonstration piece and then I think I only have one announcement at the end I will need a scrap piece of paper and let me just show you what we're going to be using. So we're going to be using this outline stamp, this stamp, we're going to be using this stamp, and then I am going to be using just the With Love, but I've paired it with the Something Fancy and not the bundle. I'm just going to do the Something Fancy dies and only for one die. It's this large outside tag die. They are layering. This is really cute. This is amazing. This is amazing. I love it. But today I'm just going to use that one die to make this card. So to get started, let me grab the pack, the stamp pack. We're going to start off with a card base of Petal Pink. So this is an 8.5 by 11 cut in half and scored at four and a quarter or folded as what I do. I know some people score. I never take the time. I just fold it in half. But you could. I know some people really like that. Okay, so I burnish that down. And I'm going to set that aside for a moment. We are also going to be using, this is the country floral lane it is a 12 by 12 piece of dsp and i want to use the or pack of dsp i want to use this this is sweet sorbet and white and it's got the little um heart flowers on there and then i want to use another piece this piece 
I think this is so pretty. And this stamp set is just amazing with it when you're doing cards that you want that double-edged stamp. So I've got a couple of those right here, some scraps. They are cut to four, so we're going to just use that. And I'm going to pull out the stamp and trimmer. And I want to cut one inch slices of this. So they're at four inch already, but I'm just going to put this to the one inch and I've got nothing to grab on that side. So I'll do it on this side, I guess. Put it to the one inch on this side and then I'm going to cut that and I'm going to do one more of those. Like that. So I want two one by four of this print. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this print. And I'll just go the same direction so it's not so confusing. I'm used to doing it the other way. And I want to do, let's do three of these. So we've got kind of an, an odd number. So three of the of the sorbet, one inch by four. Okay, and then two of the other print. Okay, I'll set that aside. The color combination is going to be the sweet sorbet. My uh, petal pink has kind of faded, but petal pink. And then... It has a uh, mossy meadow, I believe, in the DSP, but that was just too dark for what I wanted, so I'm going to use the pear pizzazz. So let's just start there. Let me bring out, I have that die cut that I was telling you about, and then I have a scrap piece of basic white. So we're going to start with that die cut. Um, it's hard to see on white, so I'll just do it this way. And I'm going to use the Tuxedo Black Memento Ink, and I'm going to use that For Love Sentiment. So let's ink this. And I just want to... There we go. Okay, small stamp, small pressure. I'm going to just put this down at the bottom of here, with love, okay? And I'm going to set that aside. And that's all I'll be using the black ink. Then for the sweet sorbet, I'm going to bring in um, our base again. And the image on the stamp set that has the two open hearts is what I chose. You can do whatever you want. But I'm going to use the ones with the two open hearts. So, and that's in sweet sorbet. Okay, I think I'm going to have them going kind of up at the top here, like so. And I'll do that down at the bottom too, maybe a little offset like that. Maybe I'll have this go. It may be covered, I don't know, but we'll try. Just so that it's kind of going on each end of the of the paper. And I'm going to leave this open because actually I'm going to use that in just a second. So while I have this, like this, I want to take these um, slices of paper that I had and I want to kind of lay them out. I want to figure out how I want them laid out, but I want them to be kind of random feeling. So since I've got three of the, the darker red, I'm just going to start here and kind of get an idea. And I'm going to go every other one. And so maybe I want those down a little bit. I think I want them spaced a little farther. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe I'll space them. With some gaps showing here, it's okay to have some of those gaps. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll space it a little farther. Okay, so now that I do that, I'm going to use the green glue. This is the Tombow 
uh, mono liquid glue. And the reason why I'm choosing this is because it's going to give me just a minute to kind of wiggle this around into the area the way I want it. Oops, I want to have my hearts facing up, so I'm going to turn that over. And I think... That'll be a good start. So I think I'll just have it kind of lap over on this edge a little bit, have just a little kind of show in there. And maybe this one will be a little bit straighter across. There we go. Now let's see. I'm going to do the opposite. I think I like it better going down on that side. What I love about the glue is it gives me just a minute to kind of play and move it around. I think I'll go like that. And then I'll have this one kind of coming up. Okay. Now we'll press that down. Perfect. So now we've got kind of our background and it's just kind of topsy-turvy there with a little bit of um, stamping in the background. So I'm going to set that aside and then we're going to go and grab, what did I just do with that piece? Here it is. I'm going to grab that piece of scrap that I have here and I will start with that um, open heart, the larger open heart and I just want to make sure my pressure is right, and it is. So I'll stamp this here on this scrap piece. And I think I want to get it okay. Now I'm going to pull out the petal pink. And I'm going to put this image, but only the top, in that petal pink as I stick the whole thing in as I just told you I was only going to do the top. Isn't that awesome? Let's try this again. I'm only going to ink up the top part of that image. And I want to make sure that I've got as I did it again. <laughs> Well, some days are just like that, right? I don't have my co-pilot here. Bill's on his way home, but he had a, a meeting out of town today, so. Okay, let's try it again. We're going to ink up that top image. There we go. And I think I want to make it a little lighter, so I'm going to stamp off. And then I'm going to come right back in here. and stamp over. There we go. So I get almost a little bit lighter um, petal pink. Boy, you would think my mind just flipped out on me here today, right? Okay, and then on the other side, I'm just going to do half again, but only on the other end of this. Actually, I want to try something. Let me see if I grab the punch out and I put it in there. To get that, do you think I would have enough skill 
to get it right on that piece so I don't have to use the other side. We will see. Oops, okay, so the stamp goes this way. And I'm just gonna get that image there. Did I do it or not? <gasps> Look at that, not too shabby. Woohoo! Okay, so I'm gonna set those aside. I do wanna share a tip though. And my tip is to, on these punches when you need to um, punch out the whole thing is to make a template. So here is the country bouquet template that I made. So when you're stamping on a colored piece of cardstock, like if I wanted to do the petal pink and have a stamp over it, I would use the white. Or if you're stamping on white, which like this, I don't know, yeah. So then when you're going through to ink, ink up an image, you can see that white there and know how to get it inside of your image. And then when you go to punch, now this doesn't fit because I obviously just used the, that scrap, but you'll be able to punch it out perfectly, the two together. I just wanted these two different colors. So that's just a quick tip on how to use a builder punch like that. And you can also do the um, leaves to that. So let me put that back and put the sorbet away. And let me pull out the leaves to this. And I want to just test this out here. Okay, so it's going to stamp together fairly well. But I, I kind of want to do a double stamp on this. So I'm going to do this just a little bit different. I'm going to bring my image in. And let's take it and put our heart attached to that die cut. And I think I'll just use one of these mini dimensionals down here at the bottom to hold that in place because this is gonna go on top of our little tag. This will give me an idea of where I want to do my stamping. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my tag image. We're gonna use that in a little bit. And then I want to clean off. I don't want to cut this apart. I have done that before, but I don't because it fits perfectly with the punch on this one. But I want this to go, I want the leaves to go on each side of it. So I need to think about this and I'm going to only ink up one side, full ink, stamp it down, pick it up and turn it so that I get that double image layer on there. And since this doesn't fit because that punch, this fits that perfectly and I want this a little bit tighter, I need to clean it off again just so I don't get any um, ink on my image if it were to touch down. And I need to look at the other side. Only ink up half of your image and this time I'm going to have it the opposite, I think. I'll have this a little bit farther down and then I will double stamp going up so that it's the opposite, okay? And this again was the pear pizzazz. So now let's build our card. Let's bring in our card base. I already know that I'm going to... Um, pop this up. So I'm going to use the Stampin' Dimensionals. And for those of you who've watched me for a while, you know I over-dimensionalize, but don't panic, it's okay. You don't really need that many, I just think you do. 
and I figure I'm going to set this right in the center. Here, isn't it cute already? So cute. And then just for a little added extra, I'm going to put the other heart that I made. And remember, if it wasn't perfectly even when you punched it out, it's okay because I'm doing it on white. So I'm just going to have that attached there. And then the other thing that goes with this set is this real red and burlap ribbon. This stuff, I love that our ribbons have gotten so thin that they're easy to send. This burlap is not like the burlap of the old days, and it's very easy to send in the mail. Same with this. But I'm going to use the red because I want to pull out the red in this card, and I'm just going to make a teeny tiny little bow, making sure to make that loop go underneath so that I'm pulling that loop. So I get asked on bows a lot. That's what I do. You can also use like a bow maker or something if you want. Okay. Now let me just trim this down. And I want to put this right on here and I'm going to attach it with a glue dot, a mini glue dot. So this will mail quite uh, flat, which I love, but you can poof it up and fuss with it a little if you want. Okay, so we've got that. So we've got some ribbon, we've got our sentiment, we've got our focal piece. If you guys have not seen these pastel adhesive back sequins in the catalog, let me just tell you, they are my new favorite. And they have kind of a pink purple, there's um, kind of a blue green, and then there's this beautiful gold. And of course I want the beautiful gold. So I'm going to use my take your pick tool. And how do I want to do this? We'll do one here. I'm using, there's two different sizes too of these. There's one that's a little larger. And I don't know if it tells the millimeter on it. But it does. One's four millimeter, the smaller, and then five millimeter, the large. If anyone cares about that. I'm using the large on this. Oops. My take your pick tool was picking another side. Okay, so when you get this all put together, and let me move this out of the way. Isn't this adorable? So you've got a 3D, and I love the topsy-turviness of having that um, DSP behind there put together. You've got that beautiful die cut. I love this die cut. That set of die cuts is going to be big, I have a feeling. And then, because they layer. Don't you just love layering die cuts? But look at how cute that is. I love this. What a great card. So you can use this as a Valentine's Day card. You can put your inside, maybe have a matching piece of DSP down at the bottom, and then have Happy Valentine's Day. But this card is perfect for any occasion. You just want to send a little love, right? So let me see if there's any comments that I need to respond to. Um... Looks like you guys. Okay, so before I go on to any announcements or anything, I do want to show you guys one other thing that I think is important for you to do when you are ordering. Now that I can open up my catalog, I have here just a highlighting pen. 
this thing is the most wonderful invention, right? We use it for all sorts of things. But do you guys ever stop and think about using it for, oh, hey, I have this set, so I don't reorder it. Highlight it. Then you know you have it. I use one highlighter. These are the things that I own currently. No judgment here because I own quite a bit. <laughs> and I've got more coming. <laughs> But um, I use this, and then when stuff retires, or if it carries over, you can always put in your catalog that it was a carryover, or R for retired, and I usually use a Sharpie of some sort and write that. Of course, I don't have anything retired. But if you have ordered doubles, and I've seen a couple of people have to send things back because they've ordered doubles, please remember this little tip. Once you order it while you have your, they, they give you a packing slip. Go in and just mark it off and then you don't double order. This has been what I have done for years now and it really makes quite a difference. Okay, I really only have one announcement. Um, if you're new, please be sure to like and share my video. I do appreciate that. I am having a new catalog launch party. So I've been getting questions about this. Um, I will definitely put up a sign up for this. It doesn't start until January 26th until February 8th. But let me explain it. I have always done a celebration appreciation, which is fine, but this is a little bit more interactive, and the whole reason and the whole point of this is to thank my customers before celebration ends. It's also a way to maybe help you guys get um, motivated to stamp. It costs $15. There's a lot of work that kind of goes into this. Um, to make this possible. You can be a demonstrator. It doesn't matter if you're a demonstrator on my team or a demonstrator from any team. You can come. It is just for motivation. There are going to be prizes. There will be a door prize. There's going to be a mystery stamping prize. Um, it's to help, mystery stamping is to help you think about different ways to build cards. Um, there's a Go Fish game that has a bunch of um, prizes attached to that and every fish is going to have a prize and I think that's going to be kind of fun. It is going to be done in a private Facebook group just like you're on a group now only it'll be private just for those people who have um, paid to attend. You get three, at least three. I'm trying to talk Bill into doing a couple of demonstrations. There are gonna, there's going to be inspiration as far as I'm going to encourage you guys to share what you're making. Um, also, I will have um, recipes and just everything that you've ever been to a Facebook party, only um, you're not necessarily going to have to order. You can just attend for the inspiration. You don't have to order anything. However, I will have some incentives for ordering. Those are just for those who attend the party. There are a way to earn more um, fish, if you want to, um, by... Uh, I'm asking for referrals so that I can increase my business, but there's really no obligation to this. It's about getting a bunch of people together to stamp and just have a good time. Um, so I've put it together. I've never done it. If it doesn't work, I'll know and I'll never do it again. But if you are interested in joining something like this, um, I think it could be kind of fun for those of us who... Um, maybe don't live by people that enjoy crafting like we do. For instance, I would have never met um, Nicola Fox if it wouldn't have been for the internet. And she lives clear in Ireland. So I am, um, and she's become a good friend of mine. I am limiting this just to the USA um, because if I have to send out all of these prizes, that's a lot of postage to go overseas. But I am um, limiting this to the USA. But without the internet, how many of us get to know each other, um, you know, crafting friends together? And that's exactly what I want is just a bunch of crafting friends to get together. And um, I'll provide the prizes and the fun. Uh, but hopefully I can get some folks to join with that. And then the only other announcement is that 
currently, while supplies last, if you place an $80 order um, from me, and thank you for everybody who placed um, orders yesterday from me, using my current host code, I will send you a stamp pack of cards for you to put together using some of the new celebration paper. So that's what I've got for today. I appreciate you guys. Um, letting me share what I love so much and I hope that how many people will make this card I'm curious to know that how many people will will, will try to make a card or something similar using this layout let me know in the comments and I will see you um, next Wednesday 7 p.m. Central Time Zone take care you guys have a great weekend bye bye